What's up Glam Squad, it's Glamorous TT and I'm back again to give an honest review on the product Honey Pot. So I have the two body washes, not body wash, why well, I keep saying body washes? I have the two coochie washes. One of them is sensitive foaming wash and the other one is normal foaming wash. So, I'm trying to see, do it have like any um, herbs in it like the other one okay yes it does so this one the sensitive one has lavender vinegar and calendula um, for a healthy pH balance and the normal has lavender vinegar and coconut for those of you who already know about honeypot um, the honeypot company it's owned by a black woman and it's basically a product that's for women that's made by women um, it's 100% natural the pH um, balance is 3.5 to 4.5 it contains collateral silver it's sulfate free and cruelty free and that's on both products all of their products are plant-based and 100% natural um, it doesn't have any pesticides it doesn't have no chlorine anything of those matters and I'm sorry that I'm not gonna get into specifics but if you want to watch my first video on my first product from honeypot then you'll know like the background of honeypot who the person is da -da -da -da, -la 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 -la. first one I'm going to start on is the sensitive okay I did start using the sensitive before I started using the normal and that's because since I have PCOS, I don't want to do anything to trigger it off. So I said, let me go with sensitive because sensitive, I know sensitive products is not going to have any scents, like no harsh chemicals, blah, 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 those kind of stuff. But before I even get to the other one, let me just get to this one. When I tell you, you guys, this product it has a light smell you can smell the vinegar in it but it's not that strong the next thing i noticed about this um in comparison to other coochie washer coochie washers to other vaginal um soaps this one wasn't as soapy like it was like it's soapy but it's not slippery so that was kind of different um a lot of people had complained about the pump I guess the pump stopped working for them or wasn't working or the product product wasn't coming out but for me I never had a problem with the pump um, oh my god oh I thought I was gonna start having a problem with the pump so I just want to show you guys how it works with the pump and oh gosh about the fall I don't even know why I did that because now I'm gonna have to wash my hands Cause my hands it's kind of smelling like vinegar like I'm smelling it strong now that's how it pumped out for me it don't have no problems on the bottle it tell you use three pumps but me I use about like five to six pumps and I've had it for like two weeks so yeah it's still full like I know you probably can't hear that but it's still pretty full um, other than that what I can say it feels good like it doesn't feel dry it I haven't had a yeast infection like with with me on a personal level for me certain soaps would cause me to get a yeast infection it can be too strong um, with these soaps coochie soaps and period you do not put it in your vagina your vagina cleans itself you use this around your vulva you don't put it in your vagina this sensitive I would recommend anybody to start off with the sensitive first just to see how it works for you and then you can move on to like the other um, the other scents and for I don't want to say fragrances but the other um, scents now on to the next one the next one is the normal coochie wash okay um, it's called foaming wash I know you guys are gonna be like coochie wash but if I don't say coochie wash I'm gonna say body wash and this is not for your body this is for your coochie so coochie wash um, 
it doesn't smell any different than the um, sensitive it just um, has a light lavender scent um, the lavender scent to me overpowers the vinegar scent in this one um, which the other one the sensitive one it has a more strong strongly like a stronger vinegar scent um, but all in all both of these soaps these two products you want to add it to your list i never been the type to use vagicel vagicil or vagicel or whatever and okay let me not lie i did used to use summer's eve but then i stopped because summer's eve they just started to get reckless as far as like different scents and then like it just caused my body to get reckless like using summer eve i started to get a lot of yeast infections like uncontrollably and it was just very irritated down there so i stopped using vagina like coochie washers especially summer's eve um i never tried vagicil so that's why i was kind of skeptical to try this but i am going to tell you that this works good and i'm happy i found these because i don't have to use um my dr bronner's all the time i'm not gonna lie dr bronner's does an amazing job but dr bronner's is not made for their vagina like these products are so these are a win in my book go and get these asap i'm not saying to go buy them out save some for the others but i'm saying you know what if i had a trash can and if i had summer's eve i would show you physically what to do with summer's eve and vagicil throw them away and get these babies okay and this is my honest review i went out and bought this shit this was ten dollars ten dollars each okay so it wasn't cheap and i would gladly go and purchase them again again and again so yeah hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe peace